Welcome to Specific Love. Today I'm gonna turn French cleats into something awesome. French cleats are awesome as you can tell, but I wanted to see if I could do something a little bit more decorative with them. Fortunately, with the American flag, we have all the stripes, 13 in fact, and so you could easily do some French cleat style flags. So I wanna do it on a big scale, basically like a four by eight flag. Yeah, huge. But as you can tell in my shop, I do not have a whole lot of wall space. Fortunately, just on the other side of this wall, I have a garage with an open wall. Let's go check it out. Now, as you can tell here, I have a very large canvas and well, of course the audio and well, the visual may not be perfect in here. It's kind of a, it's a metal building. In any case, I need to first clean up this wall. It is quite nasty. We need a paint job. I need an outlet cover, you know, paint some other stuff over there. So let's get started on that first. Now while that paint is drying, I want to talk just a moment about the flag. If you want to get very, very specific about the true dimensions of a government issued flag, well, you're going to look at a ratio of 1 to 1.9. But if you actually look at a lot of flags sold, for example, the one behind me, this is a 3x5, what actually comes out to a 1.67, which is a little bit off of a true government flag. But it's actually common for a lot of flags you'll find around. So I know the flag I'm about to create is not going to be exact governmental issue and I'm not worried about that. Now I have done some measurements and I wanted to get at least four feet tall but I'm a little bit shy on the full width I can do out there. It's actually going to be closer to about seven and a half feet and so it's not going to be perfect but we'll be close. In any case, I did the ratio on that and it actually comes out very close to the 1.9 just by luck. So, with that said, let's get started on the cleats. Now for the cleats, I'm going to be using a 1x4x8 just because I know that the dimensions, it's right at 3 quarters and that's what I like to have everything at. Now, I know for those of you who might still be doing the calculations, yes, it's just a little bit shy. This is right at three and a half until height and it should be a little bit higher. But again, not government issue. This is for my workshop. In any case, you can build it however you like. So let's go cut these at 45 degrees. Now we're gonna cut down these cleats on the miter saw. I'm gonna need three at 91 inches. Those are the cleats that are gonna be going below the union or the, the star, the blue area. And I'm gonna need four of them at 54 and a half inches. Those will be ones that go out to the side. All right, let's get cutting. Now, of course, don't throw away these pieces you just cut off because these cleats can now be used on the back of tool holders. Now it's time to add some color to these cleats. I'm choosing an apple red spray paint because I looked at a bunch of different stains that you could possibly use and none of them really made it stand out. So this apple red should really make it pop on the wall. And just remember when you're adding your color, you don't have to do it to the back side or even to the edge of where this cleat is, just the front and the bottom. That's what will be seen 99% of the time. Now, doing some research for this project, I discovered that the blue area of the American flag is considered the Canton. Or in the US, they refer to it a lot of times as the Union, the Union of the States. But a Canton of a flag is actually common in a number of other countries. It's basically a rectangle or a square up in one corner of the flag. Now, to create this Union, I'm going to be using pegboard. Yes, I said pegboard. I know some people, or actually a lot of people, will say, take that pegboard down and put your French cleats up. In most cases, I would agree. But since we're going to have a nice square, or in this case, rectangle area, that's not going to have a whole lot of stuff other than the stars, I want to be able to utilize some of the additional holes that's in pegboard to still allow you to hang and store stuff. And to be able to attach that pegboard, I'm going to be utilizing some of those cutoffs we had earlier. We're going to rip down like a one to one and a half inch section off of each of these and create a little box so I can attach everything. And to connect this frame together, just going to use some pocket screws. And now we're going to paint the frame and the pegboard a deep blue to should give it a nice contrast. Now while that paint's drying, I started looking into the stars. Now, I went to my wife and she print out some two and a quarter inch stars on her silhouette just to give us an idea of how it would look on the pegboard. We did an opposing color so it'd be easy to see. And after looking at this, 
I'm not so sure if it's gonna work the way I was originally planning because some of the sticker pieces, particularly like some of the little small corners, fall down into the holes on the pegboard and I have a feeling that would just be a weak spot and it'd easily get pulled up in the future. So instead, I think I'm gonna take these stickers here and actually cut out some additional pieces on some real thin plywood and hopefully had some actual wooden stars. Now while those stars are drying, I've come back out here to the wall. I'm gonna take a pencil, I'm gonna just do a little small mark where every stud is. because We wanna make sure we hit every stud when we're installing those cleats. Now it's time to install the cleats. Normally we would install cleats by starting at the bottom and then have spacers to make sure everything is in alignment and work our way up. But in this case, I have to align myself with the union, the box that we have up there. So first we're gonna install the very top cleat and then we're gonna install the one that goes at the bottom of the union. Then we're gonna figure out the two in between and that way we can space everything out evenly. Once we have those spaces figured out, then we'll install the bottom three. Now it's time to attach the stars to the pegboard. Across the top, we're gonna to have six stars, but alternating, it's gonna be five. And then down the side here, it's gonna be five with alternating of four. So let's do that. Now we set up a grid pattern here, just using some basic string. And that way we should be able to get pretty accurate in where all the stars go. Now that I have it set up, I'm just gonna do a little black mark on each of these intersections. And that way we can remove this string and apply the stars. Now to attach these stars, I'm just gonna use some basic super glue, put a little bit on the back and attach it onto each dot, but like so. And last but not least, we need to attach a pegboard to the frame. Now that we got the screws in, the screw heads are, of course are visible and can throw it off a little bit if you're a perfectionist. I am sometimes and this is bugging me. So I'm actually gonna take some paint and we're gonna dab over each of these screws so they become invisible. Now to use spray paint, but to use it carefully, we're actually gonna spray some of it into a cup. And that way we can now take a brush and dab out the exact color that we need. About like so. And there we go. Now I know some of you might be thinking, pegboard and French cleats, isn't that kind of an oxymoron? They don't go together. Well, I kind of like pegboard in small areas, especially for really small items. And you can use some of your small hooks to hang up some of those small items and still be able to utilize a lot of this wall space. So having them together, in this case, should be fine. It's all totally up to you. And then we have an awesome way to take French cleats and turn them into actually something really cool and decorative. Well, I hope you enjoyed this project and you can get out in your shop and have fun building. I just froze. <laughs> Blue parrot, blue parrot? Yeah. Especially for blah, 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 blah. You can stop that. But, blah, blah. But in this case, I want to be able to be a blah, blah. <laughs> Pacific love. Dang it, I can't think of a word. This is so hard. Hard to get facts out sometimes and, and do it with a straight face. <laughs> I don't even know my own line. Wow. Stutter, stutter.